If you are listening to this and your twin flame is a runner, then I feel your pain. A difficult separation phase is gut-wrenching and even more so when it's a runner. It's soul-destroying, it's devastating, it's lonely, it's sore. No one else understands it and you can feel so alone and so lost and like it's over. But you have to hear Put yourself also in the shoes of your twin flame and remember it's no picnic for them either, even though it feels like you want to blame them. You want to lash out at your mirror soul at this time. Uh, You want to sabotage everything uh, and your journey towards union. But the key here is to understand what is happening, why it's happening, and then to understand what you can then do about it. So being with your pain is part of it. You also have to be present for your runner and for yourself. So being present for yourself and your runner and that future union means understanding what a twin flame runner actually is, what are they running from, and principally what triggers that run and what you can do about it. So there's a whole bunch of nonsense around this and um, running is part of the equation of the spiritually evolved soul. It doesn't mean they're physically running away. It often involves physical distance, but it can be other kinds of distance. The runner will find a reason why they need to go, whatever that means. Usually the reason is way off the actual reason, but it's a reason they can understand and explain. It fits into their worldview and understanding of what a relationship should feel like. So for them, it might look like a breakup. It might feel like a breakup, but you're still in each other's lives. The separation is still keenly felt by both. And there's still that that presence of rift for both of you. Sometimes the runner will throw themselves back towards unhealthy habits or a previous false flame. Sometimes they'll go into silence. But what triggers that twin flame to run is fear. It's not logical. It's fear of themselves, fear of you, primarily fear of an overwhelming energy. They have no way of understanding. They're not running away from you. They're running away from a part of themselves and they don't even know it. It's a fear of judgment, a fear of abandonment and absolutely a fear of rejection, which sounds ironic given that you now feel rejected or may feel rejected. You are not They are running in fear of the twin flame connection because it is such a burning connection. It is such an intensity that maybe they don't understand it and certainly are probably not actually spiritually evolved enough to cope with it. Most runners I've spoken to do regret running. And especially during a very difficult separation phase, they might regret some of the things they say or do without any inclination to hurt you they hurt you and they regret all of that they might regret if they go back into old habits or routines or meet with an old false connection so this phase of the journey is painful for you absolutely and it's painful for the runner and it's hard to to remember that at this stage but the twin flame runners feelings are no simpler than yours They go through their own version of this turmoil during this stage. Ultimately, neither of you can regret something, a process that will bring you both together stronger. The simple answer to this is that you cannot stop your twin flame from running. And as twin flame chasers, we all know it's what we want. And we want them to understand where we are and to understand what's actually happening the separation phase is is necessary for a lot of relationships, not just a matter of time. You can't just sit back and wait for them to get over it, come back. It might not happen. However, you cannot pursue so hard and so long that you stop focusing on yourself. And it's that internal focus on your own spiritual journey that will actually allow you to reach out and guide your twin flame onward on their journey whilst you are also focusing on yourself. So 
Don't fall into thinking you only need to help them onward. Often, the runner-chaser roles swap more often than you think, and you don't want to go through that period just to find it happening again because you haven't worked on yourself. So you can stop it, and you can stop it elongating by working on yourself to bring them towards you, acting as a draw towards you, as opposed to chasing that piece of elastic all the time. This is not to say that on working on yourself and focusing on your own spiritual development, that you ignore your twin, that you ignore the runner. Contact your twin, however you do that, and let them know you're available for talk. Using tools like meditation and tarot can help guide yourself and the runner forward. Channel messages of support and guidance to them. But essentially, focus on your own goals in the physical dimension as well, whether they are about work, study, physical, or just ticking off bucket item lists and learning. Do not disregard your own growth here in every sense because you're not in union yet. Remember, twin flames run because they are not ready. That pain of separation makes it far too easy to just wallow in it. Uh, but you need here to balance both yourself and to help them onwards. And remember not to neglect your own growth at this point. So it might seem counterintuitive when you're thinking about what can I do to bring my twin flame back? And what you want to do is to reach out and draw them towards you. And the way in which as a twin flame, you do that reaching out is potentially through meditation, but it's also very much through keeping those lines of communication open to say that you're available, but not to run too hard to chase this runner. You can chase too hard. You'll know when it's time to stop. And at that point, it's because you will have drawn your runner back towards you. You'll be working back towards union and both of you will have some consciousness of that. And part of that's about both of you losing the guilt and the anger around this scenario. So it's not about periods of time. It's not about waiting around. It's not about stopping chasing immediately. It's about deciding when that full chase isn't bringing you somewhere. Working internally on yourself and your own development, spiritual and otherwise, and making yourself ready to that next stage towards union. Or when your runner comes back, it's often you're not then ready because you freaked at their return and not understanding exactly why. So working on your own development draws your twin flame back towards you. So you will stop actively chasing when you're ready and make yourself ready by working on yourself. This is quite a difficult stage in your journey. So if you'd like guidance on that, just click the link below.